The Venezuelan people have a historic few days to consolidate the gains of their democratic revolution, but they have to take control of the dreaded Sevin secret police. That secret police, which was set up and run by the Cuban intelligence services, is what is keeping Maduro in control right now. And even were Maduro to go, the secret police and its apparatus and its networks of spies and its Cuban agents would stay behind. So what the interim democratic Venezuelan government must do immediately, and what the Venezuelan armed forces must do if they're real patriots of their country, is to smash the Sevin secret police immediately, cut off all their water from all of their buildings, cut off all their electricity, cut off any flow of people going in and out, arrest all of the command leadership of the CSIG, take over the codes, take over the computer systems, take over the archives, take over every single apparatus of repression, round them up, put them into prisons, and as well as the Cuban personnel, and don't let them go until the situation is sorted out. The Sevin secret police is the worst enemy of the Venezuelan people, and unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a plan to get rid of it right away. This task can also be assisted with foreign forces that could provide, or foreign countries that could provide uh, real-time intelligence or near real-time intelligence, provide certain other types of special support to make sure that none of the Cuban personnel are free to arrive or or uh, enter Venezuela. And that goes for the Russian special services that have been reported to have flown into Venezuela recently as well. So the seven secret police have to be dismantled. This can be done even if the army does not act. It can be done by citizen action. The people can go in, in, in every single town where there's a secret police office, cut off the water, cut off the electricity, cut off the means of communication, and don't let people in or out of the building. Follow these officers to their homes. Don't be afraid of them. Befriend their families. Invite them to defect. And then when those who do defect, make videos of them defecting and exhorting their fellow colleagues to defect. This is all very crucial to do right now. It's also crucial to take control of the secret police archives right now, to be able to document the crimes committed against the Venezuelan people with the names of the officers and other personnel who did it so those people can stand justice. 